How do I look? How do I look? Real quick, before we get started, check out northfinusa.com, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and more importantly, the description has got a link for you. I would love to see you at the American Cichlid Association event, Finding the Holy Grail Cichlid. It's in Connecticut. It's where I'm from. I'm gonna be with Fritz Aquatics, Northfin's gonna be there, and it's going to be a blast. Product, fun, fish, new friends, and maybe I'll give you some stuff. Maybe I'll autograph a sexy photo. <laughs> Actually, let me show you. Don't you want one of these? Bedside table, framed, autographed, personal message to you at no charge. It won't be worth anything. <laughs> Let's go check out the fish that we got from Aqua Studios right here in the Colony, Texas. Are you ready? Because Sushi, the angry betta, she wasn't ready. Well, guess what? We're gonna have to get fish for Sushi, the betta, who ate the shrimp. We're gonna talk about that. But more importantly, look where we are. I am gonna get some fish for sushi. And this dude with the luscious beard is Hi going guys. to be picking me up some wonderful Cardinal Tetras that have been quarantined here at a beautiful fish store. You should already know because it was in the beginning of this video. Try to get a couple guys out of there. By the way, getting little fish out of tanks with big nets. Mm. These Celebes rainbows are being a pain. How long did you have to go to school for to catch fish? 15 years. Whoa! 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 <laughs> little endler. Rainbows can be kind of mean, man. I had, to get, I had to get rid of the, uh, I'm about to pull the last Celebes rainbow out of the 13 gallon up front because he's been just the biggest jerk ever. And you thought people were just jerks. Turns out fish are jerks too. You know, you like cichlids. What else do you think that I can put in with a bunch of Tetras? You know, going with the schooling theme, I think that the uh, little pygmy hebrosis Cory's would be cool. Yeah, the school of pygmy quarries. Do you have multiple pygmy quarries? I'm as little as I can get. Get, get. Shining, oh, do you feel the sun? Violet skies, baby, hear the sound. The way you move in the desert, see the moon. So I came in here for stupid schooling fish for an angry beta, or beta, however you want to say it, don't get mad at me. And then I ended up with all this. <sighs> you know you love it. <laughs> I went in for five fish, or six, I can't remember, and I walked out with all those things. 
This is what happens when you have a good local fish store in your area. Go support them. Now let's go put the fish in with sushi. Well, it's acclimation time. Get these bad boys ready. They are the Cardinal Tetras that we just picked up. So let's see how they do when we introduce them to sushi, the evil betta. All right, so I said we were gonna talk about it. I received blue bolts and crystal red, beautiful shrimp. They were decent size, they weren't huge, which I expected. And I had tanks set up, and but I wanted shrimp in this tank with sushi, the betta, the savage dude, beautiful. And I received them, I kept them overnight, I then acclimated them to the tank, I put them in the tank, he didn't pay them any mind. I fed him, made sure he was good. And I came in Monday morning, um, that following Monday, gone. All of them, just known based on visuals what he did. And so I was extremely upset. I was disappointed in myself because honestly, multiple people had told me, no, 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 no. And I was like, well, yeah, I could do what I want to do. And there's always variables, you know, you know, the same thing you and I do. Um, somebody tells us not to do it. And we're like, you can't tell me what to, what to do. This isn't fair. I'm going to do what I want to do. And that's what I'm going to do. You see? And then we waste money. We waste life of an animal. And it's not fair. It's not fair to the person giving you the information. It's not fair to the person that you purchase them from. It's not fair to the animal itself. And ultimately it really wasn't fair to sushi either. And so that's why we put Tetras in. Tetras were much bigger. They're about uh, half the size. They're Cardinal Tetras. They're about half the size of sushi. So it works out. Sushi's doing really well. He ate this morning. He's enjoying his friends frolicking. Look at that, huh? Happy sushi. Happy Sushi is a happy person keeping him. So ultimately, listen to the people around you that have been doing this a while. Don't take it as black and white and has to be done, but do listen to them. Preconceived notion that if they have a YouTube channel or I have a YouTube channel and you have you know, one subscriber, then that means you know enough and maybe you know it all. And so that is BS. And what we need to realize is that you have to do what you think is right. However, just understand that if you are getting legitimate advice from somebody legitimately knowledgeable in the hobby, that you should probably listen to it and think about it twice before you just dive into what you think is gonna be cool. All right, all right. Don't make the same mistake I did. Don't be stupid like me.
So thank you so much for watching, subscribing, notifications, commenting below. Let me know what you think of the Cardinal Tetris. And if you were paying attention and you go back in the video, you may get some small hints of the six other fish that we picked up to put in the 220 gallon. Now let's get some motivation. Something small, like me, a small act of kindness. A small drop in a pond creates a ripple effect that takes over. Just the other day, I was in line at a coffee shop to get my coffee and I went to pay and they said, I'm sorry, it's already taken care of. I wasn't having a horrible morning, but it completely changed the dynamic of my day. I was more upbeat, I was excited, I was smiling, it was good. So I paid for the next person after me. What I'm saying is, instead of looking at the ground, look up, smile, open a door. You'll be surprised at how much beauty is in this world if you open your eyes and just embrace what is around you. And if you're feeling good, that little act of kindness not only can change somebody's day, but it may change somebody's future. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, tweeting, retweeting, double tapping, liking, following us on Instagram. It is greatly appreciated. I hope to see you at the ACA. And who knows, you may get one of these if you want. <laughs> you know what's next. Holla!